This is code.org. Uploading images. You can upload images that you found elsewhere using the add image button right here. Go find an image of a different type of a pet that you like and download it to your computer using right click save as. This being the internet, I've magicked my way over to Google. I did chocolate lab and I did images. Now, depending on students, I'm okay with you using uh, whatever images you would like. We do need to credit that. To make sure we use images that are publicly allowed, and it kind of depends if it's used for public use and learning, but anyways, just to be careful, I'm going to go to Tools here, Usage Rights, and say Creative Commons. So now I know that these images are pretty much in the clear. <gasps> Look at the lab. Sorry. Um, what was they doing? <gasps> Look at that. Oh. Okay, I like this one. And so I'm going to click on this guy, and I can go to this page view image, uh, visit. And here we are. Now I can download this image by right clicking on it. Or if I want to go back to Google, I can even right click it and do save image as. And that's looking good, right? So chocolate lab to downloads. Or you could even do it to desktop. I might do that. So boom. And now I can go back over here and do add image and I have to go ahead and find it add image then right here upload and I put mine on desk lab boom there it is and close and now hopefully it'll pop up over here we're not done though we want to give uh we want to attribute it so you might only be able to do this site since I use Wikimedia Commons or yep, Wiki Commons. I did the tools, Creative Commons visit. I'm going to go ahead and use some of their info. So let's see. Tom Walsh was the author. So I'm going to go back over here and like we did previously, right? I'm going to go ahead and add my image. Find the image, make sure you're allowed to use, which is what I did. Make sure the file name follows name rules. Use the image tag. So I'm going to kind of do this an easy way, but hey, it works. Where it says cat here on line 15 for me, I'm going to copy and highlight all the way down. Or I could do it at line 10 for dog all the way down. And I'm going to get this paragraph tag too. I'm going to right click and do copy. And now uh, before the slash body tag, right? So I'm going to put my cursor in front of the slash body and hit enter enter. I have a blank line now, right? Where I get up above slash body, right click and paste. Obviously, I don't want to do another dog. Ooh, and I missed an H3 tag. So let me do that. So I'm not going to, I'm going to say lab because it's a lab, it's a lab dog, but now I need to change the image name, right? This can also guys, this all, you can do it on one line, same thing. So uh, my image was chocolate lab. So I'll change it to that. And I can start typing and why not use the autofill? It's easier. Chocolate lab. Now it might be super big. Mine's definitely going to be, and that's okay for now. We'll learn how to resize it. And I'll say lab dog for my alt, right? Make sure it's exact though. SRC equals quotes, alt, all of this. And then mine was from Tom Walsh. So I'll replace this name. Tom Walsh, Wikimedia Commons, that's still true, O-G-L, but I think mine was, uh, mine looks to be, uh, and it's hard for students to know all this stuff, mine's a CC share alike 2.5, so I'll do this for mine. Now, if you don't get yours exact, all that technical stuff, it's fine. Right, you might just say, oh, it's Creative Commons, right? That could be fine. You could say Creative Commons share like something like that. I'm gonna use the technical part of this, which is CC by SA 2.5. All right, now it's again, it's hard to see. That's okay for now. We're gonna learn how to change the size in a bit. Onward.